Vellner is training for his eighth appearance at the CrossFit Games. In the last seven years, Pat's been on the podium five times, making him one of the most consistent competitors of the last decade. Did anyone make sure Patrick Vellner has sunscreen? Along with training full-time, Pat is also a full-time father and part-time chiropractor. All right, now we're here in Nanaimo, Canada to take on a day of games training with Patty Bellamy. AKA the ghost, AKA let's get this guy some SPF. Hey, I think we got this one. What do we say, buddy? Let's roll the footage. <laughs> Hard to get to, Mr. Patrick Vellner. We took a, a train, a plane, and an automobile to get here. Basically, I had a boat. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't forget the boat. Air, land, and sea to get to Patty B. Why no one comes to visit? Yeah, yeah. Airland and Sea, I get it now. I yeah, get it. Oh. The planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, Michelle, hi. How are you? I'm good. Welcome. Hi. So good to see you. Welcome, welcome. You're cutie. How old now? He's 13 uh, months. Oh, you just hit a the big milestone. The big huh? one. You guys moved here because you had your residency here? Is that what it was? Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Which was two years. And then I went off basically immediately on mat leave with yeah. this guy. And then I've been back since May. And he did something similar, like chiropractic, right? Yeah. Is, yeah. is that just something for another career later on down the no, road? No, he works. Oh, he does? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a few different things going on in life these days. Hey. Obviously, our son keeps us plenty busy. And other than that, I'm training for the games and I'm working as a chiropractor still. I'm only in the clinic two days a week, but those are basically my two days off of training. So I take a rest day on Monday and an active recovery Thursday. And I work both of those days and then I'm training every other day. So I'm kind of full on all week. I don't really get any days off of everything. Life keeps moving. Oh, what's up, my guy? What's up? So besides being busy all the time, is it nice to have something to distract you? Oh, I think so. I, I think it's just nice to be able to do something else that takes all of your attention. Training's stressful sometimes. Sports are stressful. Like, you have bad days, but if I have to kind of turn the page and go to work and help other people with their problems, it sort of takes your attention away. And sometimes it puts it in perspective. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, you know, some other people that have other problems are in pain or have other stuff going on and your problems feel a little smaller for a little bit. This time of year, what are we like, two weeks before the games, it's the worst you'll feel all year. I think it's just the wear and tear and the intensity of games training and that like cumulative effect. And you just, you're at kind of the peak, peak of training and then you start to taper and that's what's meant to make your body feel good again. And that combined with the adrenaline competition will put you through a lot. Oh, what a beautiful spot. One of those 10 inch rims, what? Just took the spinners off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro, look what I found. Thank that's you. what you call a Canadian ashtray. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Not in nature, out there in the wild. So this lady just stopped us and she was wondering if we were all brothers. We were like only in heart. Yeah, I was like, we are the Butter Bros, but we're not biological. If you didn't know that, if we you just didn't blew know your that, mind. yeah, there's probably a few people that think yeah. that. But me and Pat are actually cousins. Yeah. Obviously, no one thought I was related, but you know, he's our adopted brother. To another day. I mean, this is what we're with people. It's a poke with a view. That's the secret to the sauce. Yep. The poke bowl next to the ocean. Or this. You know, I'm just doing dad <laughs> right here. <Yeah. laughs> Bam. 
Yeah, I got the auto down, so it saves my yeah. shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna see this guy oh. wicked kick in the morning, you know? Pancakes. Let's see if they could do pancakes up here in the north. Yeah, here there might just be crepes. Yeah, you guys you ever uh, yeah. hang out with Paul Trombley when my he's guy. doing the like, oh, and then so he'd just catch you off guard. At yeah. some point it would just be like this. <sighs> yeah. And you'd have, to, you'd have to come in hard and crap. So like, do me. Oh, gotcha, okay, you gotta cover it. See? Okay, now nah, I got you, hit me with it. Okay, yeah, see you in the morning, Pat. It's <laughs> like, hey! I got the right hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was awkward. I got this in my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There. It's the Benson stack. Good one in Rome. Hanging out with Buttery Bros. Gotta get pancakes. Those beans? No, it's a blueberry beans? compote. Is that beans? beans? No. Ah, they look like frijoles. <laughs> this is a Benson stack. It's coconut up milk pancakes. When we were coming to town, Pat said, I got a pancake spot. This is the spot. Dessert first. I'm an adult. It's just a little thinner pancake. Mm. It's got multiple flavors. It's coming around the back here. Oh, the bananas. The second you put bananas on anything, it immediately improves the score. It's the Chico for you, yeah. yeah. You love bananas. That's delicious. For a thin pancake, I'm thin. always skeptical. Yeah. That's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, uh, an eight, nine. An eight, nine? Yeah. I'm gonna okay. do a, an 8.4. Uh, Pat, what do you rate it? I don't need as many pancakes as you guys. I give it a, you know, it's a nine. There's only one 10, so you can't go around throwing 10s around. No, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. 10 is like unattainable beauty standard. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I think the yogurt really cuts the sweetness of syrup. Yeah. Blueberries, you know, they're it's a compote, but there's still some good fruit in there. It's delicious. Eight, eight, five. Eight, five. Eight, five. Eight, five. Eight, five. Eight, five. Not yeah. bad. Five. Off the back, I just gotta let you know, even your pancakes don't have a tan, Pat. Gotta get the fingers in. I'm an easy win. I'm an easy win. I'm genetically predisposed like sugar. That's just how we are. That's how we're built. 8.4. I go 8.4. Okay. All right, we waked. And we, we caked. caked. And now what are we doing? We're going to the pool to go swimming with the Vellner. Let's get wet. It's been a while since we did one of those. Pool day. Pool day. Oh, that hurt. That was not what I wanted. Oh. Uh -huh. Here we go. What's the workout? I think I'm doing like a ladder. It's like a 300 meter, a couple 200 meters, a bunch of 400s, and then a bunch of 50s. How are you feeling about your swim today? <laughs> I mean, I'm on the GoPro. I'm just trying to get the good angles, you know? I might do a, a few down and backs or something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you, man, you're a man of the water. Get in my zone, dog, get in my zone. Seemed like you were giving him a good little pace, little rabbiteer. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a strength of mine. It's a nice little solid way to start the day. And the prediction is that we're in a pool this year or what? I think so. They just put some stuff up. I think it was showing Lucas Zappa doing a workout of the pool that looked like the Wisconsin pool. I think that's what everybody's kind of predicting. I think a pool workout would be a cool change too. We are 10 days, I believe, away from the games. This was kind of the end of our games prep. Now we're gonna hopefully hit a nice taper, which is gonna feel fantastic. There's no better feeling than hitting a taper week. And if you don't feel that way, then you haven't prepared very well. I always feel like this last week or two of games prep, my body never feels good. <laughs> you're kind of at the point where what you're practicing is how to perform reasonably well when you feel like shit. My legs are like cramping up, kicking off the wall. I feel like the last few workouts I've done, I've been like 50s in and out of the water with other stuff. So I'm like used to swimming that speed. <laughs> and yeah. then now today I'm like 300. So I open up with a 50 at like a good cruising pace. And then I'm like, oh, that's not it. <laughs> in order to maintain buoyancy, I need speed. Yeah. So that's great until you get to super high distances and then you start to collapse a bit. And then I, I start to sink a bunch. So. Trying to fix those technical things have been a big focus. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Made it through. You know, not the best swim session I've put in, but better for it. Yeah, absolutely. Hard to keep up with Hebert. Yeah, he's pretty, uh, Aquatic. 
Do you feel the pump when you swim? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was saying before. It's like it takes getting used to that like you get to this point where your lats feel blown up or whatever, but it's okay. You just have to kind of get used to what that feeling's like. Sick pump, look at that. Look at that, three dimensional. Hey, we're on the way. What? Chicken cup. All right, swim's finished. Now we're headed back to take care of a baby. Yeah, we gotta give uh, Michelle some relief, relief, so. His baby, his, his baby. baby. Yeah, yeah. His, his baby, his baby. His baby's mama. His baby's mama. His baby's mama. What's your uh, coffee of choice, my guy? If I don't have to train, right away yeah I'll, I'll usually do like a cappuccino or something like that oh okay or if i'm at work there's a good coffee shop right next to my work so i'll get like a you should get like an oat latte if i'm at work if you were to list your top five canadian candy exports what would you recommend dude hard because i don't know what all is export you should try to get an enamel bar you should try to get your hands on some ketchup chips or all dressed chips. Oh, 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 oh never the have big I ketchup ever. Guy, big, big ketchup, ketchup guy. guy. Yeah, but a uh, Rice Krispie Square is a different different thing. Huh? See, but is, is this not a thing anywhere else? Yeah, well, it is a thing, but not as big as it is here in Canada. Okay. Rice Krispie Squares. They're so good, it should be a sin. So this is what you got for taking? Yeah, second atlas. Or QR code. Yeah. <laughs> it cool looks one. like a restaurant menu at the Cheesecake Factory. The yeah. NFT. The NFT of that. Wow. I know, man. Pretty cool, right? The future is now. <laughs> What's the prescription? What are you doing? How many sets? What are you talking about? It's supposed to be five doubles at 90%. We'll see. What's 90%? Like 370? 370. Well, cool, wow, I thought these were only on the mainland. Not, not on the mainland. They're only on islands. <laughs> mm. I think so they added more lychee to it. Yeah, a little bit yeah. more of that little cool. After the pool, we came home and we had to relieve Michelle from baby duty while he had to sleep uh, and actually just started the second session at home, did some squatting in the garage so that we could just kind of keep the momentum going and not break the day apart too much. But that's just kind of what it's like these days. You know, we have to juggle things a little bit around the house and when it's time to come relieve each other, you got to take that pretty seriously because Michelle had to go to work and uh, it's not all about me around here. Hi, movie. That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah. If I do recall, he's got a very sexy running in the rain scene. <laughs> sexy and tragic. Doesn't that shot show up like three times in the film? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember sitting down to watch it with him the first time. He's like, that shot again, man? <laughs> you got a lot of recycling over here. Like, this is a lot of money you could just turn in right now. You guys want to make a run? <laughs> you can keep it. You can keep the money. Right. We're doing Patrick Bellner's recycling. <laughs> Come on. See, I wanted to drop that one, but I thought that one was still there. <laughs> Is that it? What's that? Alright, so now we'll head to the gym. Yeah, wait, see where Michelle's at. She was doing some charting and I thought she'd be home by now. No, I might actually have to wake up the baby. But it feels bad to just shake a baby awake. Yeah. Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Come through! Come through! They like look at you like, what? <laughs> what? How could you do that? <laughs> Why? Pat, tell me about this moment right here. Well, as you can see, I'm coming across the finish line. That was what, event five? Yeah. First event of the second day? That was like the kind of end of my comeback, which was nice. It only took me five events. But yeah, that was good. That was my second event win of that weekend, so. That was like a solid, I put together like four really solid workouts after a really bad one. So I was like first, third, like fifth, first or something like that. It's about all I have for celebrations. <laughs> Bro, you ever practice your moves in the mirror? You know, like. No, I maybe mean, should. Is that the trick? I don't know. You gotta figure out how I've it never, looks cool. Ash like Josh yeah. Bridges or somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Just growl at yourself in the mirror. You just gotta watch Hulk movies. An hour a day. Yeah, geese are always. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it depends on the type of event you win though. Like I, events that I win, you're like buckling your legs across the finish line. Like I'm like trying, and then I'm like, oh, oh shit. Like, it's, 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 too, it's too late, like, it's too late. You can't, you can't. Are you deaf? If I win one, 
get down and take take the photo of the guy coming across in second. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. Maybe I'll do the salmon dive where you just dive like a like, oh, yeah. a, like a fish across the line. Litter box, you know, that's always good. I don't know. I'm taking. I'll take some suggestions. Okay. And then I, and then I'll try to win some workouts. <laughs> My wife Michelle is a family doctor. She took maternity leave after Owen was born for about nine or ten months. I think she was itching to get back to work, and since she's been back, she's been working very, very hard. Our lives have a lot of a lot of moving pieces. You gotta just make it work, right? We tend to try to make a plan the night before, where everybody's gotta be and when in the day, and then you know you try to just skate through the day as best you can. Woo! New flavors. It's called summertime lemonade. Look it up. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, that's a smooth, that's a smooth summertime lemonade. Yeah, as compared to wintertime lemonade, this yeah. is a good one. Warmer, winter has a little yeah. bit more of a bite. Yeah, fall lemonade, not. Not so good, it's got some spice. Yeah, pumpkin. Comes with a side of basic. Okay, so I feel like we can do this, we can do this, we can do that, that. Scale that. 135? Yeah, I think we just do the women's weights. We started out with the finale from 2011 CrossFit Games. Remember which it? Had a, a three minute AMRAP, and then you repeat that same movements for a six minute AMRAP, and then you uh, finish with a whole laundry list of a chipper. I finish the row, and then go to my wall ball. Marsden's taking my wall ball. I finished my Shooter's wall choice. ball. Shooter's choice, I didn't know. It was a ball, I, I saw it. Yeah, I go set everything up, and then I set up where my toes bar are gonna be. Turn around and hit my toes bar. Marsden's on my toes bar. Did I really? I so didn't that's, know. That's like a solid 10 seconds. That's the worst seconds. view in the house. I don't know. <laughs> it's a solid 10 seconds of me figuring out where to go, yep. where I'm like, ah, oh, I've lost this. Two. So I lost my three box jumps or two box jump overs. Hey, but it's okay. You got you, There's two, two more two parts. More, two more chances. There's two more parts. Go! I took it real easy. Okay. I did 10 calories out of 20. Pat's off the road. Yeah, I know. You're like, is he done? I was like, damn, yeah. This He's on his wall wall. He's real fit. Fitter yeah. than us. And being a dad's been awesome. And we're busy and we're working and we're training and we're running around from the second we open up our eyes to the second we go to bed. But as soon as we put them down at night, we take a big breath, and then within 30 minutes, we're already talking about Owen again. It's fun, like your life just kind of changes and your priorities shift a little bit, right? Box jumps over, but look, looking at the film, that's taken off on one foot, you know, so <laughs> no, no rep me or something, digitally, okay? <laughs> How was it? Oh, good, but it started compounding. Yeah. Here we go again. Just about one minute. How are you feeling? Feel okay. All the way through this time, yeah. Can you sell it. Lights out. It's cool. It's really cool to have somebody that needs you to that degree and be able to be there for them and, and like help them learn stuff and do new things. So it's been exciting and a blast. Busy as, as hell, but it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I let him go unbroken on the wall balls because I was like, I'm not gonna yeah. catch him there. Thanks for letting me do that. Went quicker through the toaster bar. It's getting to the point where you're tired of practice and you're ready to play the game. Lights out. You've been doing this since 2015. How many more years do you have left? Oh, big one. My party line right now is we'll see how long the young guys keep letting me win. <laughs> As long as they keep making it easy for me, I'll keep showing up. Lights out. The burpee is where you really made up ground, man. Our 2011 CrossFit Games, that was actually just burpees, not burpees over a bar. Yeah, so we scaled up. Then we had discussed before the workout starts that we were gonna do shoulder to overhead like they did at the games. But at the same time, we had set up a handstand push-up mat, so I kind of got confused. I'm like, what did we agree on? I was like. So he went over and did strict handstand push-ups. My 20th rep. You struggled. It was 
sickness begun. We got it. I was two reps behind him, so Marson takes the W there, and then we finish with a nice little flex. Yep. Lights out. Nice, buddy. That's fun. Does that look like it did work? I feel melty. Oh man, that was that was a fight to reset. Yeah. Start over again. It's a lot of. 90 wall balls, you know. Right, what we got here? Now that you just finished that first one. Uh, a little three rounder. Nine ring muscle ups, nine back squats at 225. And then finish that off with a 100 foot walking lunge. I think the couple will go reasonably quick and then the yeah. lunges will just be a bit of a grind to finish up. Ready for this one to be done. Probably the last hard workout before the taper starts, so. Do you still have accessory work after this? Yeah, some GHDs and uh, Glute bridges. Well, that's the GHD. That's 1.0. I almost never do GHDs to ground. Mm. I go like, like to parallel down. or a little bit higher, than, mm. or a little lower than parallel, and that's it. Yeah. Good enough. Save yeah. it for competition. All right, boys, this is workout two. How are you guys feeling, huh? I feel fresh. I feel froggy. This is from the last episode. I tore in both of my yeah. palms. Okay. So it's a little uncomfortable. Yeah. We're pushing through. We hop onto some rings. The workout's pretty simple. Three rounds, nine muscle ups, nine back squats, three rounds of that, and then you cash out with a hundred foot back rack lunge. Those yeah, I did bar because these hands, you know, I've always got these soft editing hands. I, I put on a lot of lotion. I think that's it. Yeah, it's definitely the lotion. Yeah. I think that for me, I, I'm very intrinsically motivated. I love to compete. I love to try to push myself and be better. And there's a lot of days where it sucks. And you know, those are the days where you really make yourself better. I don't think that I dwell on what other people are doing and worry about it because the reality is we all are working on different things because that's what we need to do to, to be successful. I don't really need a lot of external motivation. I don't need training partners. I don't need that stuff. I think that some people have that hunger in them and it's not, it, it, you don't need it from somewhere else. There's a job that needs to be done and I haven't quite done it yet. And so until that time, you gotta keep digging. I was doing singles on them because I didn't want to like grind more. So I was like, maybe if I just come down, you know. Yeah. At least Point being, you know, he got me. He got me. Yeah. You, one right? one yeah. game was streak. Yeah, that's what we. That that, that's what you're trying to get yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah, I beat him. Yeah, he did. I'm holding the camera because I finished. That means it's a one game win streak, son. You got any Campbell's soup? You can really go for some soup right now. Yeah. <sighs> Oh! I'm glad we didn't go heavier. Yeah. In fact, you did 225. Man, my butt. Yeah. Yes, sir. GHD box. World's yeah, second fittest you. man, GHD. This is the most rocky training shit I've ever seen. I know, exactly. That's what I, what I love about it. over here, bro. I'm making something to drink. That was the last session before we start tapering off? Pretty much, yeah. I think the sessions next week are gonna start to be a little lower volume and a little bit easier for a bit. Body mm -hmm. feeling snappy and recovered, so. Yeah. And after, he's finding all kinds of different ways to like walk, but like just a slight assistance, you know? Yeah, man, he gets his reps in. Mm -hmm. He likes to push his stroller. Workout data provided by Whoop. Shout out to the Whoop. We're gonna go over an entire day of training with Mr. Patrick Vellner. Oh, so it ended up with I getting a 17, that's a terrible way to say that. With I. I had a 17.5 <laughs> strain after swimming, two functional fitness workouts. Wow, you outstrained me by quite a bit, but you also swam more than me. I was just the guy in the water with the camera. Yeah, just getting that water shot. Twelve point four strain for myself, and a shout out to the Butter Gang. We're gonna go to Amy Lynch. She's the most slept today. She's, she's a level 11. She slept seven hours, 55 minutes. Not the most slept, but she got 100% sleep. She's at the top of the leaderboard. 
she's out of New Zealand. Shout out to you, Amy. Slide into my DMs on Instagram and we will hook you up with a brand new Whoop. Use code PANCAKES to get 15% off of a Whoop subscription and that same code to join the Butter Gang. That concludes the Whoop of the Butter Gang. We out. All right, that's a complete day of training. We that kept really up. Uh, built you up a hunger. Yeah, we scaled back and now let's go feed on a barbecue. Can he cook though? Start it up. See your uh, sous chef? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Unreliable. What we got going, dude? Dude, I'm just working on my green thumb. Yeah? I'm picking kale. Oh, it sounds exciting. Kale has had a come up in the, in the nutrition world. Oh, dude, it's, like, that, it's like the Hebrew of the vegetables. It's quite a glow up. Stay fit in Canada. Wow, you got all the accoutrements, my guy. Whatever you need. Okay. You got what you need. You got things you need to know you need. It's the best Canadian burger I've ever had. What can't this guy do? No, yeah, this guy got it all. Father? Father. He fit? Can, I'm sure you can chop good wood. Yeah. Tell him about it. That's a good burger. Holy sh! The tables have turned, Wait, how people. Do you know? This is a veggie burger. This is a beef burger. You guys aren't even eating the same food. What? <laughs> My blown. What are you doing? Oh, it tastes. What are you doing? Why would you <laughs> roll up and bite a man's burger when you have a full burger yourself? The, the tables have turned. This is actually a veggie burger. This is the most delicious veggie burger I've had in Canada. Over here. It's cooking on just like an old school girl. I mean, if that GHD was any indication, <laughs> <laughs> like that guy. <laughs> Come on, man. Of course he's gonna bring out that grill. That's what we love about Pat. Hi, right, Pat. Good luck out there. Thanks. We'll see you in a week. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Good. Uh, Safe travels. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Right. Nice time. Time. See you at uh, Hot Sack. Enjoy home. All right. Yeah. Oh man, we're about to get deep in sleep after a long day of training with Mr. Patty Velney Alert. So if you sign up for a Beam subscription, you get 40% off. And then you get 20% off every month after that. So you might as well sign up right now because it's the best deal of the year. That is a good deal. I actually notice a significant difference with Beam. Yeah? What do you notice? When I'm sleeping with Beam, I get a way deeper sleep and my recovery score with Whoop is actually significantly higher. Cheers. So cheers to deep sleep. Also on this part of the show, we like to give back. So the comment from last week is right here. You just won yourself a new Buttery Bro shirt. Might be this one, you know, slide into his DMs. How do they get it? Yeah, they come out of my DMs on Instagram. We never announce winners in the comments here on YouTube. It's always through other social media platforms. But we announce the winners in our YouTube videos. So we've had spammers come in and try and attack our community in the comments. Always come back to next week's episode to see if you've won. Speaking of which, next week the giveaway is a backpack. Krieger backpack. So make sure you go comment below right now to have yourself the dopest gym bag out on the market. Next week we will announce it on that show and that will be the first episode at the CrossFit Games. All right. Until then. See you at the games, huh? Deep sleep.